Under King Charles III's reign, Princess Beatrice and Queen Camilla were promoted to new positions. Before we continue, please subscribe to stay updated with the latest information about the royal family. Councillors of state play a critical role. They can be called upon to perform the majority of the sovereign's official duties, if the monarch is temporarily unable to do so. This includes cases of illness or absence abroad, and it is believed that five members of the royal family currently hold the positions. The sovereign's spouse and the next four people in the line of succession over the age of 21 are currently councillors of state. The councillors of state during Queen Elizabeth II's reign were Prince Philip until his death in April 2021, then Prince Charles, Prince William, Prince Harry, and Prince Andrew. But now that Charles is king, his councillors of state are his wife, Queen Consort Camilla, Prince William, Prince Harry, Prince Andrew, and Princess Beatrice. These councillors can attend privy council meetings and sign routine documents, if necessary, but some rights remain solely the responsibility of the reigning monarch. Councillors of state are unable to dissolve parliament unless instructed by the monarch, create peers, address commonwealth issues, or appoint a prime minister. However, several of the current councillors of state are not working members of the royal family. Despite her HRH title and princess style, Beatrice pursues her own career away from the royal family and does not serve the crown in an official capacity. Prince Andrew retired from royal duties in 2019, while Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, retired and relocated to the United States in 2020. According to royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams, the role of the councillors of state, who are currently the monarch's consort and the next four in line to the throne, is to act in the event of the sovereign's incapacity or absence. The former Duchess of Cornwall, as the King's consort, and Princess Beatrice, have been appointed as new councillors of state. However, Harry and Andrew are still councillors of state, one who has stepped down from royal duties and is resident in America, while keeping his domicile in Britain, and the other who is in disgrace, and has no royal duties or patronages. This is unsatisfactory and should be changed in the new reign as Harry, Andrew, and Beatrice are not working royals, Mr. Fitzwilliams said. This necessitates action by Parliament, and the Princess Royal, and the Earl of Wessex would be excellent candidates. However, this would necessitate changing the current method of selecting councillors. Despite being working royals, Princess Anne and Prince Edward are currently too low in the line of succession to be councillors of state. When Prince William becomes king, his wife, the current Princess of Wales, and his children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis when they are old enough, as well as Prince Harry, are likely to be his councillors of state. While the royal family is in mourning for the Queen, it is unclear whether King Charles will make changes to the appointment process for councillors of state. Several issues on the royal calendar must be resolved, including Charles's upcoming coronation, which is expected to take place in 2023. The issue of his grandchildren Archie and Lilibet's royal titles is also a source of consternation. Both of the Sussex children are untitled, but as the monarch's grandchildren, they are eligible to be styled HRH and Prince or Princess under King George V's 1917 letters patent.